BMW's Driving Academy. The car, a highly automated prototype that basically drives itself, and more importantly, goes out on Germany's famous autobahns. It's got 12 sensors, lasers, ultrasonics, a host of cameras, all of which provide 360 degrees of constant surveillance. Add to that, this prototype uses a differential GPS system that pinpoints the car's location to within centimetres by relaying information to and from base stations all over Germany. So 12 sensors on the car feeding all that information through, each with a microprocessor. This is where it all goes. Look at this box of tricks. Plenty of wiring here, two computers. The first one takes all that information from the microprocessor and then feeds it through to the artificial intelligence of the second computer, which controls the car in real time. Just as well, it's a prototype though. There's no room for the golf clubs. But here's the thing, Michael. Why are you developing this? Because I'm not sure that if I went down to a showroom, that the fact that a car was highly automated or nearly driverless would be the difference to me wanting to buy it. The computer is continuously observing everything that's happening, making a lot, a lot of calculations, and can react much quicker on a car that's in front uh, mm. braking than a person would be able to. It will also be able to increase efficiency when a car is driving highly automated. It has much, much more information about how it's using mm. uh, its gas. And if it's an electrical car one day, how it's going to use the, the battery. So it'll be, it can drive much, much more efficiently than a person can drive as well. So you gain comfort, efficiency, and safety. Whoa, Dude. what's that noise, Michael? What does it, it, what does it want us to do? Uh, the car wants to go to sleep. <laughs> okay, fair enough. So it's, it's, re it's realized it's not doing anything and it, and, it, and it just wants to sleep. Should we go and try it? Exactly, let's, let's see what it's like in the, in the real world. Perfect. I'm going to press the plus button, and there we go, and it's taking over. I take my hands off. Uh, it's already decided to change lane. It's, it is a slightly surreal experience. BMW can legally take this prototype on a stretch of the autobahn that's been extensively mapped for the entire route. So far, the German automaker's fleet of automated prototype cars have over 10,000 kilometers of driving time between them. But there are still big challenges. No country in the world has legally sanctioned the use of 100% driverless cars on public roads by anyone at any time. And another area that needs to be worked out is certification, that is, guaranteeing the technology can never fail. We have to guarantee that the technology in a car is so reliable and so robust in the situations where we can drive highly, autom highly automated that no uh, failures happen. It has to be able to handle every situation that occurs in when the car is driving highly automated. What is clear is that all the technology we need to go driverless is with us right now. And if the laws change then from 2020 and beyond, this could become our reality. But until all that happens, I'm just going to sit back, let the car drive. And I don't have to do anything. <laughs>